Hello and welcome to Let's Play on Linux. Uh, this video is sort of a question. Uh, I have been trying to uh, find the best or most optimal or sure how to put it uh, four way train cross in Factorio. After much iteration, this is uh, what I came up with. I have tried many different things, among other things, uh, this hiatus thing, uh, and yeah, and different variations on the loop. So, uh, among I got one uh, version of this that uh, would allow. Uh, or for no, one train from each direction to pass through the actual loop at the same time not just these sections here but through the actual loop at the same time and it worked sometimes problem was that sometimes it didn't work and I got a gridlock and had to solve everything manually but this thing here I've tested it and as far as I can tell it's un lockable like it won't gridlock ever and at the same time as optimal as I can get it so I have set up here um, test system where I, with a circuit condition can start all four trains at going at the same time currently they are set up in a best worst case scenario so when they go through ones uh, it's the best case scenario, basically, uh, this east one will go south, this south one will go west, this west one will go north, so they will never actually intersect, so they can all go through at the same time, which I can show here. So they all go through at more or less full speed, and it's very optimal. However, now when they're going to go back, they all need to cross within the loop. So... Uh, and that's where most of my problems came, but with this solution I managed to get uh, two trains to pass at the same time. So either uh, the west and um, east one will pass at the same time, or the north and south one will pass at the same time this time. Uh, whichever it is, I'm not sure if it's always one or the other, or if it's just random. Yeah, it's north and south this time anyway. And then the other two passes at the same time as well. Which is the most optimal that I've found that doesn't risk a gridlock. I guess that you could like enlarge this uh, loop circle and have everyone pass at the same time there as well. But of course then you're gonna have to have a really big loop if you have long trains. Uh, for this purpose, the only thing I am talking about is this section here. Uh, everything outside is just an analog for the rest of the grid. So, uh, this is the best solution that I have been able to come up with. And I am asking you if you have a better solution. Uh, please be constructive. Uh, if you have a better solution, please tell me about it, but also tell me why your solution is better. It um, doesn't help very much to say that your solution sucks and mine is better if you can't explain why it is. So, well, yeah, that's basically it. Also, maybe you see something that is totally redundant here. Maybe I don't need all these signals here. Basically, what I found is that I need uh, normal uh, train signals rail signals uh, in the south part, north part, east and west part, and then chain signals diagonally. I tried the other way around with chain signals here, and that was a disaster. And of course here, on uh, in to the loop is a chain signal, and out is a rail signal. And that's true for all of them. So. Please let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.